Well, B, how you doing today? I'm good. How about you? Good. We're excited to have you here. Now, you have this lovely model here. What are you, what are you going to do on her? Um, so today, first off, we will tackle her roots. Yeah, she's got some a uh, little bit of gray. Not too bad, huh? Not too I'd bad. say maybe even 10% gray, right? Yeah. So you're going to tackle bad. those first. We're going to tackle those first, and then we're going to take some face framing baby lights to brighten it up around her face, and then we will give her some beach waves and. Maybe pin it up a bit um, for the finished look, so it could be a more professional look. I love it. That's she's gonna love this. I think it's exciting. Let me turn her around. So, are you pretty excited about your new look? I'm so excited. Yes. I love it. <laughs> well, we can't wait to see your technique, and you know, this is gonna look great. Thank you. Thanks. So, we are gonna um, address these roots first, and then we will add the face framing um, baby lights, and then some balayage next. So right now we are just applying um, to have full coverage on those grays and it will also act as a, a shadow root, kind of deepen her face here so the highlights, uh, the face framing highlights around her face really pop. So I'm starting in the front along the top here, especially around her um, temple zone over here because this is where she has the most grays versus the back of the head and we want to make sure that these more resistant grays are fully covered. Um, and we want to make sure that you take a small enough section so you're fully saturating when you flip the hair this way and just give it a tap on the other side of the grays. All right, so now we are on the baby lights portion of her hair color. And what we're gonna do with the baby lights is we're gonna go all the way around her face frame area here to brighten up her face and give her a nice sun-kissed glow. And it will also help when her grays are growing back, it'll just help blend um, that area as the hair grows out. I still um, am able to apply the lightener um, while her roots are processing because the lightener will kind of break through that dark color just a smidge. Um, and we want that uh, face framing area to blend and not have such harsh lines anyways. This is something a lot of people um, might not do, um, but I've been doing this for a very long time and it just makes a really nice transition from the dark to the baby light colors. It really blurs that line so you don't have a harsh highlight right at the root because we want it to be like, um, a more of a balayage look. I'm weaving super, super fine pieces that we like to call baby lights. It just shows a real softness, um, like golden glow to the face framing highlights instead of a big chunk of highlight there in the face, which we don't want. We want it a nice feathery look as it's growing out. Um, we're also leaving the ends out here because we have already previously lightened those and we don't necessarily want to go lighter. We want to still achieve this nice goldeny, like medium brown, dark blonde color. So we want to leave those out so they don't over process and get too light. We are going for the balayage crown area. First thing I like to do is take the section and then tease it up and what that is going to do it is going to help break that line probably take like an inch up from the outgrowth here and just make sure not to go over the the old the previously lightened section here and then going to feather it up and then what you want to do is lift it up and make sure it is fully saturated and do the same thing on the underneath side. And then I'm going to lightly place a foil like so. And then just once again, just against the foil, just make sure it's fully saturated. And if you see any darker pieces that go further down, just Lightly cover them with the lightener. And then I'll lightly cover it with another foil. And then I just like to fold over one side and voila. 
So we want to make sure it's important to ask where the clients like to part their hair, especially if they're super particular, because we want to make sure that it's surface paint right where they're always going to see it and where the sun would nat naturally sun kiss their hair. And then I like to keep a, a hair, a section of hair in between to create that, that depth so it's not too light. And again, same thing, tease that, and then same thing on the other side. We have this all rinsed out, and since there is a little, um, a little bit of like yellowy in there, we wanna enhance it with um, some gold toning shampoo um, to just enhance the warmth in there and have it match the, um, the previously lightened sections of her hair. So this is the Golden Blonde Toning Shampoo. So this will enhance um, the gold tones in the hair and make the hair feel nice and warm and sun-kissed. So you want to make sure you lather it in like shampoo. What's cool about this is that it tones your hair at the same time. And you only need to leave it in for a few minutes until you see it really taking the, the, the tone that you want to see in the hair. All right, so we're going to start out with the Enjoy Protect and Shine. And what this is going to do is going to protect from any thermal styling. Um, it's going to help with the frizz and also lock out humidity. And then you can just make sure that you brush it through evenly. So we are going to go for a beach wave look. And so I'm going to start in the back section at the nape of the neck. And then this is my one inch um, curling iron and I like to use the heat on 380 so it doesn't interfere with the coloring that we just did. So the first section we are going to um, spin the barrel inward and on the next one we are gonna alternate it. So you get that beach wave effect. And you can always leave an inch at the bottom with your hair straight so it has more of that messy look. All right, and with this section, we're gonna go the opposite direction because we're going for that messy look. So we don't want the curls to go all in the same direction. And remember to leave an inch of the ends out. And so with this section, we're gonna start off the opposite direction for the curl and curl outward and then so on and so forth, alternating each section, left and right. So the overall experience with this model today went very well. We're very happy with the look we achieved today. The products work absolutely perfectly for her hair and we're super happy. Thanks so much for joining us today. We featured Salon B. Hope you liked all the work they did today. Be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss the next episode.